nightmare conquered. In the sleepy town of Ravenbrook, a young woman named Lily found herself haunted by a recurring nightmare. Each night, when darkness draped the world, she would toss and turn, drawn into the depths of her mind where terror lurked. In this haunting dream, she was trapped in an endless corridor, the walls lined with eerie portraits that seemed to watch her every move. The faces in the paintings were grotesque, their eyes piercing and malevolent. As Lily walked the corridor, she could feel an unseen presence trailing her steps, the air growing colder with each passing moment. No matter how fast she ran, she couldn't escape the nightmare's clutches. One fateful night, the dream took a sinister turn. As Lily wandered the corridor, she noticed a strange figure in the distance, a shadowy silhouette with glowing red eyes. Fear clenched at her heart, but curiosity pulled her closer. The closer she got, the more she could discern the figure's twisted features, elongated limbs, razor-sharp claws, and a sinister grin that sent shivers down her spine. The nightmarish creature stepped out of the painting, crossing the boundary between dreams and reality. Frozen in terror, Lily could only watch as it approached. Who are you? She stammered, her voice barely a whisper. In a voice that echoed with darkness, the creature replied, I am the manifestation of your deepest fears, the keeper of nightmares. Why are you tormenting me? Lily pleaded. I feed on fear, it replied, its voice dripping with malevolence. And your fear is the most delectable of all. As the creature reached out its clawed hand, Lily's survival instinct kicked in, and she managed to break free from her paralysis. Running as fast as her legs could carry her, she desperately tried to escape the nightmarish entity. The corridor seemed to stretch on forever, and the walls seemed to close in around her. Just as the creature was about to catch her, Lily stumbled upon an old ornate door hidden at the end of the corridor. With no other choice, she pushed it open and found herself in a dimly lit room filled with antique toys and dusty books. The door creaked shut behind her, shutting out the nightmare and the relentless presence that had chased her. In the room, Lily discovered a worn journal, its pages filled with mysterious incantations. As she read the words aloud, she felt a surge of power coursing through her veins. Armed with newfound courage, she made a decision to confront the creature that haunted her dreams. The following night, as the nightmare began again, Lily stood her ground when the creature emerged from the painting. With a voice filled with authority, she recited the incantation from the journal. The air crackled with energy, and the nightmare's power began to wane. The creature howled in fury, but Lily persisted, refusing to let fear consume her. With each recitation, the nightmare's form grew weaker until it vanished, retreating back into the painting from which it came. From that night on, the nightmare ceased to torment Lily. She had faced her fears and emerged victorious, no longer a prisoner of her own mind. The haunted corridor and the malevolent paintings faded from her dreams, leaving her with a newfound sense of strength and resilience. But deep within the dark corners of Ravenbrook, the nightmare still lingered, searching for another vulnerable mind to ensnare. And so, the town lived on, its secrets veiled by the night, as the whispers of terror continued to echo through the ages. The End